the ads are done arena time to uh draft arena and do the thing arena um sounds can be pretty bad sometimes I think it's bad more often than it's good a one drop stealth is pretty nice sometimes delinquent is nice there's only one card in this pack Cycling could be okay sometimes. Um, I think this is more uh, consistent though. I don't know, there's a lot of cheap spells in the meta. I still think, um, especially given that we're pretty light right now. Uh, shit. Raven seems really good. Um, Proto Drake is also really good. Proto Drake is more. I think Proto Drake is more consistent. I see your twelve and two. Did you post it in the chat? Oh, also, I uh, I should post put this up. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I did. I may have been distracted. I think like Proto Drake is more consistent than me, but the Raven is more high rolly. It topped out at Flame Strike. So you have like a super aggro. Super aggro mage. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of cool actually. Really low curve. I don't know which one I want. Aimless Monster. Thanks for the follow. Raven will get us Proto. Well, it can't give us Proto. I think I like Raven. It's like, just in this meta, it feels like the better strategy is to just get, like, uh... <laughs> small things that discover big things, rather than picking big things. Damn, so Arcane Breath's really good. Um, we just skipped a dragon, but this could give us a dragon. But Wand Thief is just always good. We'll take the Wand Thief. Damn, these are both really nuts. I think we'll favor the Raider here. Ogre is okay. Amplifier is broken. More Raven. More Raven, more fun. Spelling's pretty good. Og Merchant's also pretty good. We'll go with the Og. Take broken card. <laughs> what are these numbers? <laughs> 64. Damn, I'm actually forced to skip a Wand Thief, that's unfortunate. Damn, I want that Fishy Flyer back. I mean... If I want the Tutor... Bully's okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, um, which app we're we using? This is called Arena Tracker. It shows the Light Forge, Hearthstone replay deck, win rate, and Hearth Arena scores left to right. Do we take seven mana Nixia or nine mana Nixia? You see, the scores are actually pretty close. Shuma's pretty cool. Shuma is good. They're 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 similar power level, honestly. If you have a lot of dragon synergy, you would probably take the Anixia. Anixia might just be better anyway. The Shuma is good sometimes. It requires you to be ahead on board, is the issue. But it also comes out two turns earlier, right? So. Really close. I 
think I'd rather just have a Nixia and Mage. Like Shuma is a win condition if you're winning on board, but like... A Nixia is better if you're behind on board, which... If we're not behind on board, we probably win anyway, so Shuma just seems unnecessary, kind of. If we really wanted Dragon Synergy, you could pick this, but it's... Oh, look at that win rate. This Dragon Synergy is just really good right now. We actually don't have the Dragon Synergy right now, though, so... so I think this is better. I kind of want... I want a Rustorn initiate. We actually have four two-drops already. So maybe we just take a second Fireball. Alright. Here's some Dragon Synergy. We might want the Shavara instead. What do we have? One, two... Only two dragons in the entire deck, so this is unlikely to draw. That makes it a lot worse. I think we take the Shavara. I don't know, at the same time this is kind of an aggro deck? I don't know. I think it's Shavara. Enfling is fine. I guess we'll take a Blizzard here. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, our deck is, um... We're not really equipped for the control matchup, but against Mage, we can probably just kill them because we have two fireballs and we can get on board probably pretty easily. Priests are a problem for this deck, I think, but I think we'll be fine. If you have a deck like this, it's like as long as you draw decently well, like we have um we have the full trifecta between Imprison Observer, Firebrand, Arc and Amplifier. Our last deck had zero of them, right? Our last deck had was missing all three, and we were saying like, man, we might not be able to do it, but we still got twelve without the three drops, without the broken three drops. Which is really hard to do. But now we have the broken three drops. The cart the deck is not quite as good, I think, but we have the broken three drops, so. You have a golden Jandis, but you have never drafted it. I should probably make golden Jandis, honestly. deny the the trade onto the 2-2 two, two. or onto the 2-5 whichever next turn um i mean if you can't do anything about it we're just gonna coin jandis right and win the game immediately if we really want to we can play the amplifier though but i think we just play a win the game card And honestly, getting other win the game card down is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, all of these plays are really good. Because the other play is to, like, arc amplifier, kill this off. You get this trade into the 9-1. It's also really good, right? There's, just, like, there's no bad play here.
Depends on what Jantus gets, right? A safe play might just be to get the amplifier down. I think it is the safe play. And since we should win the game, we probably just take the safe play. <laughs> Because the, there's a chance you just low roll the Jandis and then you're screwed. Shaman's also the class that can just kill any board, so possibly. Leo, thanks for the follow. No secrets in this deck. Um, okay. You're paying for my discretion. Here comes the lightning storm. Maybe we should jam just, I don't know, it's... Killing an Unbound Elemental feels too good to me. It's nice that we, at least we got one AoE out of the way before we play Jandis. It's a really weak, uh, portal. Weak target and also weak pull off of it. Well, <laughs> <gasps> oh, really weak Jandis, so... I'm doing the... I'm doing it this way just to kind of mind game him. In case, it probably doesn't matter, but... That's not good. A little bets in chat. We don't have bets in this channel. Maybe I should implement bets. But... Ah, he got mine game. Excellent. Excellent. It was a success. Oh, and Certified Lover also thinks we'll fall. Missed that earlier. We need some beasts! Where are our beasts? I should have seen what the draw was first. I don't think we would have played any of our spells, though. Oh, it was guaranteed to be Fireball. Fireball's the, yeah, Fireball's the only spell in our deck. Oh, 
man of gods. Okay, we'll get the Nixie down. The Polymorph isn't super high value. It's okay, it's not... It's decent value, it's not amazing value. Play big thing, hope it works. What a god. Holy shit, dude. Do I have like a super great board clear here? I think we do this. The only thing I don't like about this is that it, uh, I don't know. There's no like super, there's no other play that like guarantees this doesn't die immediately. There's like some plays that put you on like Ar arcane missile RNG to keep it alive. Missiles is really good if it hits minions three times. We'll try it, I guess. Psst. Psst. I mean, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll just do. We'll just do this then. If it hits minions three times, he said. Imagine hitting minions three times when we hit non minions three times. Your feeble magic. All right, we should be good. He failed to hit a taunt totem in two rolls. Fortunately for us. Although that would have uh, given us the, the kill probably, just would have taken another turn. I don't think we keep Raven. I think Raven's just a little too slow. You know what card I haven't seen in a long time? High main. Is High main just not offered that much? Oh wow, High main's only in 6% of decks. Why is that? Like, why is High main not seen that much? Like, High main's a problem? Like, why would they make her just down High main when, like, you get so many scribes and get so many scribes and 
Thigh stalkers, but no hymen. This will be a problem. Oh, we just have to not play priests, right? You don't pick the I did say immediately with this deck, I was like, I don't... We're gonna have a trouble against priests, but... We have a lot of, like... The thing is, is, like... We have enough discovers, like the ravens and stuff, that if we high roll it, we can beat priests. We could also aggro down a priest, so it's not like we lose against priests automatically, but... It would be... We wouldn't be favored. Priests get good early, they will win late. I mean, a lot of priests, it depends. I mean, priests aren't always that good, like, game. Like, priests run out of value a lot of the time, is the thing. Like, not not that many priests actually have infinite value in this mode. Guy knows where the place is. You gotta give him. You gotta give him that. One off, right? Yeah, the firebrand is one off. I guess we'll do the uh, the raider. Surely we'll get another spell burst. Another spell. We actually don't really have spells in this deck. We had problems with the, an earlier mage deck where it was like we had all these things, but we didn't have the spells to actually trigger our spell bursts, and we couldn't really win because of it. This could be a deck where that happens. Okay, it's nice to get the, the five drop out of our hand here. We need Onyx. Yeah, Onyx. Onyx was a big part of our last deck success. You also need spells for Onyx, though, right? That's the problem. Yeah, I mean, we have some ways to discover them, but like, we have no one mana spells, no two mana spells, no three mana spells. All our spells are like four or more. It's just fireballs and polymorph and blizzard. That's all the spells we drafted, actually. Not that one. Could have gone to one mass spell, but uh, it's a little hard to pass power creation. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm in pretty good shape here. Unfortunately, we kind of need a ping this turn. <sighs> I 
Shadgar, my man! We have... We don't have too many dragons. Got a couple. Yeah, we have we have Firebrand Blizzard into Cadgar power creation, so it seems uh pretty good. Or he just doesn't do anything. That works too. I probably should have uh, pinged his face first, but it's okay. Um, uh, it's fine. We can uh, tempo everything anyway. Maybe we shouldn't have played this though. <laughs> this could actually be awkward. <laughs> wow, yeah. Um. That's fine. We'll just have to wait a turn for this, I guess. This is like pretty high odds to drop Polymorph anyway. Never lucky. Whatever. To awakens this and then we just uh don't miss taunt yeah we might we could lose stone like if he has awakens and a good board we're kind of boned actually <laughs> No awakens. Yes, we're good. As the problem is, is like if we don't clear, we're actually we could lose. Caligo's fireball. Yeah, I don't love it. We should probably, yeah, it's, it's the reasonable thing to do, honestly. Or deep freeze. Seems like we should be good. Um, just like try to kill this. 
I mean, should I just done the fireball? Because, like, honestly, like, we're just going to use the deep freeze as a fireball, a delayed fireball anyway. But I guess at least we get to play around uh, freezing trap, I guess, right? Uh, just, uh, just, just mage things, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, just 24 damage from hand, or 22, right? 22, my bad, only 22 damage from hand. Uh, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. It's, it's fine. Nothing to see here, folks. Just mage things. Just mage things. <laughs> oh, God. I know that we want this, because we can only get, like, Fireball Polymorph off of this. It's so good, right? But... I think we just want to find our threes, honestly. When you have broken threes, just find the broken threes. Go, broken student! <laughs> okay, alright, alright, fine, okay! Alright, alright, it's fine, it's fine. Are we fireballing a 1 4? We're fireballing a 1 4. Yeah, it's just, this is happening. We're just gonna accept it and move on. Just, uh, just, just forget that any of this game happened and the game starts right at this point, right? So just starting from this point. We're just gonna pretend like we didn't fireball a 1 4. Alright. Surely he doesn't do anything to punish this. He actually didn't do anything to punish it. Well, he kind of... he tried to, but didn't... didn't really work. He tried. He, he gave a good attempt. Yeah, Juicy Shavara. Damn. Why do my Shavars always get bat ridered? Feels bad, man. Only my Shavars that get bat ridered. Your feeble magic it only happens to me. Like a fungus we spread. Okay. A clean so we would like to try to uh blizzard two turns from now if we if we can help it. not bad actually. We just kill this. Uh, we're planning on freezing it. If I get the draw. I think we just freeze it. We could probably just take this draw. So we do want to draw I think. If 
We do have the blizzard, so like we could do the blizzard uh draw combo, but I think this is fine. Excuse me, sir. Can you stop playing broken cards? Only we're allowed to play broken cards. There's no like, I don't see a super clean way to do this. I mean, just getting this down and. You give spell damage to something, or you could just ping this too. Ping this thing, it dies to Starfall and Swipe. I'm kind of more worried about like this thing just getting like scorpited or something, honestly. Two as much as one. I mean, I'm worried about like pinging our guy to make it like actually die to things, you know, because like five and versus Druid, five and six is a pretty big difference, actually. But, you know. Is it ever Blizzard there? Blizzard's okay, it's just like, it feels really wasteful. <laughs> be the best way to protect this guy it's like to protect this guy you have to either use blizzard or polymorph which i don't i don't like using either but what a god turns out we died anyway yeah Cause that's the thing, right? It's like it's like even if we try to protect it, it might not be protected. That guy knew way too well, by the way. Like, how did he know which one we? Like, he had absolutely no hesitation, knowing which one we were gonna pick there. Which it, it was not obvious. I wonder. Hello, Lapsung. How are you doing, by the way? Person watching. How are you doing? Can't actually do this. It's actually really awkward. Just because we can't ping this thing. We'd have way better plays if we could ping that thing. Other player was like Blizzard. I don't know. Your power. Limitless. What do you 
He should be pretty out of steam. I mean, tempo-wise, we really should just do this, but that's nah, fine. So, I kind of want to keep the polymorph as just uh, just in case, but it's... our other plays are just so bad. But I mean, like, even if he, uh, even if he death wings us, I guess, like, we just we have a nine-one, right? So. <laughs> Oh my god. Why do we keep getting wrecked by brooms? The brooms! Uh. Oh, we can do the math thing. Expect. No one ever expects the Raven lethal. Should have expected the Raven lethal. really fast. Pretty straightforward mulligan though, I think. don't tempo one drops against classes that can kill it for one minute. Ah, eh, Corona-esque things. If we just coin Amplifier, like, what the hell is he going to do about it? Nothing, right? That's what he's gonna do about it. I guess that would have. I guess that would have always happened. It just would have happened a little uh, later. We would have played it on three. It would have happened on turn four. I guess it developed a four. May want to keep this thing.
A free four drop, okay. This guy's playing the must hero power every turn game, I guess. Our enemies will wow. Okay. That was that was pretty nice for us actually. Ooh. That is a draw. Can't play anything that survives except for this. Damn, the volume missiles is really good. I don't think we can skip flame strike though. There's a world where you want this. I mean, the only problem is like, I feel like a proto Drake's coming. <laughs> That's the thing. And we actually have AOE options. I think we may just want this. Say we want this too. I don't know. I really feel like he's just gonna slam a pro Drake immediately. Is the problem? I don't know. I'm gonna go with that. It's just like between like between like all this stuff, like we have AOE options, right? Like I don't think we we doesn't seem like we need the flame strike as badly. Is he really brewmastering that? Okay, no, that's not it. Lack of cheap spells for this stuff is just really awkward. Fireball face with brand. That's an option. I'm looking at like Observer Raider. Firebrand Fireball might just be better though. Pretty good, actually. This is just enough to kill it with ping. Devolve. We could devolve. I mean, you devolve into a six drop, right? And like the the six drop could have like nine health or something. We someone will. Well, quite sure, John Wayne. An excellent question. They will never catch me. There's a little devil in all of us. Have giant dragon play giant dragon seems uh seems like a plan play giant dragon when he tries to all in counter all in we just uh blizzard him seems, seems why <laughs> except he plays cycle hatred and then we cry <laughs> oh god he just triple trades and plays cycle oh no
It's okay, we actually board clear it, right? Because we just played Tudor Blizzard. So it's actually fine, you know? Alright, yeah. Uh, that's less fine. Oh, he's killing it, okay. No, I just started learning Chinese. Like, the reason I started learning Chinese, honestly, was just I had a bunch of, like, Chinese friends. He just, he just Sudoku. Uh. And it's part of the reason I kind of wanted to... <laughs> I kind of wanted to travel there. I guess he, he probably was dead no matter what, right? So... Yeah. Alright. I don't think- I think he didn't realize how low his health was and then he looked and he was like, oh shit. But, like, the reason I, like, part of the reason I was studying Chinese is, like, I wanted to learn a language which would actually be, like, useful where, like, I mean, it's, like, it's useful to learn, like, Spanish or French or whatever, obviously, like, I'm not saying that's not useful, but also it's, like, you know. You go to, like, Germ- like, you go- or you, you learn, like, German or something, or so you go to Germany and everyone speaks English, right? So, it's, like, I don't- it, it doesn't seem that necessary, but it's, like, you go to- So I wanted to learn a language where it was, like, some place that people don't go all that often, you know, and also, like, where there'd actually be a ton of people that couldn't speak English. So Chinese was, like, one of the best candidates for that, essentially. So I guess we just play like all of the broken mage cards. Why do we have why do we have this draw against a shaman? Poor shaman then. And Bong Shisha. He plays a minion that we just ping. That feels bad. I should. I don't know how to say like. How do you say like American or or foreigner? I guess just. I mean, it'd be foreign, right? Just foreign is just Chinese born. But how do you say like Chinese born foreigner? We'll kill this. Uh, the only problem is, is like he might just uh, he might just randomly blow up our board. In which case, uh, we would just want to push base damage. But uh, I don't know. they never have scheme in their opening hand, right? Surely. That's damn. That's actually pretty insane. All right, that could have been worse. If it hit all three ones, it would've been pretty bad. But we also act. This is a high roll. This one's okay. So, you know, can't complain. I guess. If he had a scheme, he wouldn't do this. Also, so I don't think we need to play around scheme anymore. We could just play this. I would be so triggered if my opponent did this. Ah, uh, well, well, we can take totems, I guess. And we're just gonna double fireball him too. <laughs> uh this game is, uh, I feel bad.
And it's actually less than 70. It's less than 70 degrees outside, so I think I can turn the AC on. I live upstairs where like heat comes up here. But, like, if I can do this, mine eight three six. Thanks for the follow. Means I can. I can actually turn this sound filter off, so the sound quality will be better. Should be better now. Should just be curtains, right? Uh, fireball ping was off, right? We had fireball ping, but that was, I don't think that was lethal. Pen flinger, fireball face, and ping. What did that, um, I think this is safer, right? He could, uh, what would that put him to? We that would have put him to like pretty low but I mean, it, the best thing you got was shower death <laughs> so Zephyrus is why this guy got to 4 and 0 eh? <laughs> he already knows we have lethal <laughs> We have lethal with just ping and uh, pen, pen flinger, so he already knows it. So I think he just X the game. This definitely looks like an X the game. <laughs> he was like playing and then he's like, oh man, fuck this. What happens if he X's the game and then we X the game? Surely he would, he would lose first, right? Because he X the game first. I mean, surely, right? No. We we're talking about how we uh don't want to play priests. Not like this. Do we do we want this or do we want to just draw more broken stuff? We might just actually we have like no four. This is the only four drop in our entire deck. Okay, we'll keep it. Hmm. We have drawn win the game card. Damn. Transfer student in the not to drop transfer student state. That's kind of an issue. Health minion will die for free. We should probably just play this. I mean, it's either this or we just pass the turn, right? Just play this. to play on a turn that is not vulnerable to Shadow Madness also.
He still has to use removal on the 9 1 or loses one drop. Okay. Yeah, he has to give up an AUG. That's fine. Hmm. Um, I've been in that position before. I'm like, why can't I just, like, can I give, like, a future heal to my guy? So, like, Amplifier is really good, but Jandis is also really good. I think we'll do the Amplifier. Just getting this guy out is pretty nuts. It's kind of funny, like, we have, like, we have, like, opportunity cost in this deck. It's like, well, I want to, like, ping, but if we're going to ping all the time with our amplifier, then we can't actually Jandis that early. You know, it's like, oh, such a struggle, man. We could ping and use the transfer student as a buff on here. We could also, like, Take the damage here and Rusty Raider, but this thing's gonna die probably if you do that. I don't want that thing to die. I think I like just doing this. It's like mana efficient, but it's just really efficient just in terms of like just, you know, using our stuff. Using as little resources as possible. I must consider. Okay. I mean. He can't feel great about that. It's actually such an awful turn. I'm not saying he misplayed. I'm not saying he had a better play, but yikes! I mean, that's a terrifyingly bad turn. Play the Raven just in time for uh, Caligos on curve. We can hit that. I mean, all right. We should probably push the, you could play this, but I kind of want to push the three damage from the ping. Gives a priest especially, like a 1-1 one -one doesn't matter, just ignore it. Oh my god, it matters. He has to take the 7 first, so he can't like, he has to just kill these, I guess. He has like a renew. It doesn't, it doesn't reduce power though. He has to renew his face. Yeah, okay. This is like always lethal, right? Yeah, it's like always lethal. We can ice spare here lethal. Hey, loser. 
Ice barrier lethal. How often you get to ice barrier lethal, guys? And gals. Imagine thinking ice barrier is a bad card. Hapa. Perfect card for lethal. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked. Uh -oh. oh, it is on. We have run into mage territory. The game has decided, okay, you've had enough um enough easy games time to run into other winning classes This um, Star Scryer just gets pinged off, right? I'd rather he keep developing stuff. Okay. What have they done to me? Have they, done to me? they made you instantly win games. That's what they did to you. They made you win the game card. That is what they did. <laughs> it's like, uh, excuse me, it's just, is Messenger Raven pick the, get an option between the three best mage cards? Or something like that? I mean, we didn't get Offer Jandis, I guess. Yeah, so the problem is Reno's not active and it's not that likely to become active. Um, I think we want the... Azure Explorer should be the most value. Want Thief could be more value, but I mean, it just depends. You don't tend to get that much value, not that much value out of a mage card on average. Like, you might just get a power creation, you know? <laughs> but. It's like, we only get a power creation. Eh. Watch this. I want to draw the fireballs or the blizzard, I guess. And also kind of want to get value out of these guys before a uh, flame strike exists.
think this is fine. Um, you could get the Azur out this turn. I don't think we need to. Holy shit, I got like perfect RNG. Saving the Azur for like future spell damage is relevant also. Play it now, it probably dies. Um, we're just waiting for one dupe for this Dragon Queen now. Obviously, just playing Brightwing right now wouldn't be the worst idea, but this will probably activate. Dare challenge the daughter of Deathwing? It depends on what you get off Brightwing, right? Like, Brightwing might not be better than 9 mana 8 8, so. I think it's worth the upside, is worth it. Hanging down the one ones one at a time. Hey, <laughs> we got him, boys. Freaking blizzard. No, it's not the the best blizzard ever, but it's not bad. You could also just like play one of these. Make sure I hit that with that one. I should put this in the middle. I thought I would have more minions up. Fine. Wow, what a god! <laughs> what a god! Rip that guy. Seven. Right. That was it? I thought there was only like eight spells. Oh. oh I missed like the thought steal. And the Corsair cash buy, okay. Not quite lethal yet. Uh, I'll just play this, I guess. I was like your typical one. Yeah. Just did a whole lot of nothing. Just 
Excuse me, sir. I'm going to need you to stop discovering things. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to need you to stop discovering things that... Okay, he didn't have the life still. Okay. He's not dead, I guess. I mean, he doesn't... He doesn't know that he's dead. I forget, did we show him this? We might have shown him this already. It's kind of weird, like, I don't know, it's like, I almost wonder if they tinkered with the RNG or something. Like, puzzle boxes, like, for the first, like, two to three weeks of the expansion, it felt like puzzle boxes literally just automatically won the game every time they were cast. And then, like, the last two weeks, they felt like they do nothing. I feel like they might have, it almost, it really feels like they tinkered with it, but I don't know. I guess, like, the easiest way to see, did they, did the win rate on HS Replay change? Because if they really did tinker with it, it would actually show up on HS Replay. I mean, look at that. No, it's still super high win rate, so it must just be my experience, but... It's still like the best mage card in the entire game. <laughs> it has the same win rate as Imprisoned Observer. So. It must just be my experience. Could keep this. I don't think so. I've heard other, I mean, I've heard other streamers say, like, sometimes it feels like... So it wouldn't make sense if it's, like, if it's hanging the opponents too, but it's, like, sometimes it feels like, you know... There's, like, a button on Blizzard's thing where it's, like, this guy has too high of a winner, like, let's give this person really bad RNG, <laughs> you know? But it wouldn't make sense if it also happens to the opponent, so... Wouldn't really, that philosophy wouldn't really fit. This is just such a good uh, firebrand. We just take it, right? I'd like to do this. It's like, unfortunately, Imprison Observer just is not good enough right now. All right, we'll take win the game card. Which class do I prefer playing at the moment? I mean, I like winning, so I like playing mage. As you can see from our current win rate. If you look in the bottom left of the screen. <laughs> Lost the shovel fist. <laughs> Honestly, we could like hold on on this until I don't know. It doesn't really matter, right? He's obviously gonna know he doesn't want to play these, but uh, we'll just develop this dude. He's just like, aha, I'm gonna play all the one ones. Oh my god. Okay, I, 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 this guy needs to chill out a little bit. He just uh, chill for a second, bro. So if we, uh, we could rest Eaterator actually to try to keep this alive. We could also just like trade in Shavara. It's not spawning yet. Honestly, it seems like playing this is fine.
So we had a drafted, um, let me show you guys, like the, the drafted counter thread. So like the counter thread prime, it's like, it's like a demon synergy thing. It's like, it's resummons the demons that have died, right? But like he hasn't played a demon yet, so it's not even that scary. Ripboard. Moving at one three, okay. He was able to successfully not do anything on his turn 7 to not give us, like, the Shavara or Observer value. Unfortunately, he appears to just be dead, but... I would better just uh, not, not combo that. Probably was better, honestly. Is it dealt more damage to us than it did to him? Uh, I mean, it's about the same, honestly. Uh, it actually didn't really matter. I had a secret in the deck I might have picked the Cloud Prince, but we don't. Boom! I can kill with the upgrade fireball. Yeah. Unfortunately, he can't. Could have killed him with Frostbolt too. But we couldn't. Truly a tragedy. Could keep this because it's our only four drop. Yeah. Turn four in this deck is really bad. Like always. <laughs> Which server do we play? I play all the servers. Right now I'm on NA. Or I guess Americas. Two has win the game card, that's not good. I want to play things. Was the hardest in arena, Asia. That's why I don't play on Asia very often. <laughs> Actually. 
actually. <laughs> Which one should we even choose? I don't even know which one we should choose, actually. But yeah, no, like, I mean, I'm, I don't I haven't played on it in a couple months, so I don't even know, but like... Tah! <laughs> Direct nerd. Direct bro! He was confident in that choice. He was more confident which one was the correct one to pick than I was. Because I had no idea. But yeah, I mean, like, because, like, when they post the leaderboards, like, you can see, like, if you're on like if you're looking at like Asia's leaderboard, like you're gonna be like if you have like a seven win average, you're gonna be like top fifty or something. You know, it's like it's just it's just so ridiculously hard to even hit like, you know, a decent average on those servers. I definitely want to do this play, but um, if we don't do this play, we walk into flame strike really hard. None shall right. I mean, we have two fireballs in our hands, so <laughs> we didn't prepare him with this. I mean, all right. I think we'd rather play this one right now, though. Nobody They'll never expect it. Oh god, it has a reborn. Oh no. <laughs> he guessed twice. He guessed wrong twice. <laughs> this guy's like, holy shit. He mind gamed out of his mind. Wait, it's like normally you would expect you would want this to die, right? But it's like, yeah he, yeah, he should know honestly that like we just want. He should know that we just want to get the eight damage into his face, you know. <clears throat> That's not it, Chief. Really not it. Damn, he had like worse two targets. <laughs> How do you know he didn't know? Because we say he didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know.
Don't even show him the second fireball so he actually won't know. He doesn't know. He'll never know. Unless he comes in here, they might know. <laughs> Killed her on board, said oops. <laughs> Bar we could have fireballed her own face, yeah. I mean, he, I don't, I say, like, I normally don't BM with mage, but if we're playing another mage, I guess we could. I mean, I normally don't BM, period, but... Especially not one playing mage, but if you're playing another mage, then maybe. Yeah, the BM play was to fireball your own face first. That's that's for sure. Is it weird to think the only coward a mage is a better mage? Is it weird to be correct? This is the question. Do I just play this right? I forgot we actually had one of these in the deck. We haven't really drawn them at all. Sometimes really greedy priest. That's the thing is like, I mean, a mage is usually going to outgreed a priest just in general because priest doesn't actually generate cards that well. They get draconic studies and thought steal, right? So if you have like five thought steals in your deck, you know, you might be able to, but you thought steal mage card generation and then you're actually, you're talking, right? But otherwise the mage is going to out generate you. So. So like even a, even a value mate priest is going to get outvalued a lot of the time. He wanted to do some other temple play, but he uh, wanted to also ping our guy. What have they done to me? I don't know if that's how he wants to use the thing, but... I oh, use the coin, I mean... Okay, I was gonna do Raven, Wand Thief, but just this plus ping is pretty good now. It could still be Raven, Wand Thief though, honestly. I think I like Raven, Wand Thief better still, actually. Just because it uh, lets us get this stuff out of our hand. Uh, these are all terrible. This is a 3 mana 2 5, I guess. This is like 5 mana 5 5 with a negative effect. Take this. He might get spooked by it, I guess. Uh, these, are, these are all good, actually. We have no AoE, I think we just want the rolling fireball. <laughs> there's, there's really not a wrong pick in that pack. Pushes nuts with their cards. Well, it's like these are gonna die, right? Like at least one, if not both, is gonna die. So we don't know that it's actually gonna be good.
generally like you're just, you're generally not gonna be able to play a potion until you have like basically 10 mana saturated I don't think this is a very hard choice I guess it was a hard choice because I would not have made that choice. Depends on what he, if he has some other way of dealing with this. He might just be like a super, super greedy control demon hunter. Like, that's the only reason you would want to kill the 4-5 is because you're just more afraid of that thing hitting you in the face than the other thing. And now he top decked for that. That wasn't even in his hand. Really awkward, actually. He plays another one. I mean, he's just slowly continuing to just take damage turn after turn, right? Like, I mean, we're just we have two fireballs in our hand. Like, if this just keeps going on, he's just gonna die. while we're rolling that. I don't really want to because it's it's not that. Oh no, we can replay the two drop. Yeah, we probably should then. Cause I thought like we couldn't, I thought our turn would suck, but we can actually replay the, uh... we can replay this. So I think it's fine. Or fireball ping. Yeah, I kind of want to save the fireballs for face. But I mean, I think I, I think I do want to, I think I do just want to save the fireballs for face. I grow impatient. Thanks for the follow. Your feeble magic. Good morning from Greece. Good morning. The problem with the Nixia is Circle of Hatred exists. If we play Circle of Hatred, we actually lose. Cycle hatred. GG. <laughs> GG. Boom. I 
never expect the double fireball. Ah, uh, just, just mage things, just mage things. Uh oh. Another mage. Oh boy. I guess we take the. I guess we keep the two best cards in like the entire game pretty much. So what have they done to me? Watch him conjures calling it. <laughs> and he's fine, right? Pretty good follow up. Probably would have thought we didn't have a two drop, but we top decked one the turn after turn two, so. The turn after turn two, also known as turn three. That's why you come here. You come for here for the 10,000 IQ knowledge, right? The turn after turn two is turn three. Wow. Wow. Do I want to play the jam? This is the question. We could just like freeze this and ping this and go face even. You can also like trade here, play Jandis. I kind of like the freeze. Wow. Hmm. We don't have a ton of value. I mean, it depends on what Barab gives us, right? But what Jandis gives us. But uh, not a lot of value in our hand right now. Oh. Uh, mage things.
Kind of rude. We got our own mini Reno. Oh no. even worth it i mean we have to remove something or else this is threatened so i mean i guess you fight me you get burned yeah i mean he should i mean he should just die right so <laughs> It's like, is this even worth it, man? It's like, come on. It's like, uh, you, you can make me use all this. You can make me use my three drop to kill your three drop for free and develop a three drop. Like, come on, man. <sighs> what, to do? what a pain in the ass, man. Making me actually, like, only get, like, six mana worth of value out of my minion. What the heck? That's, that's a mistake. What a greedy guy. <laughs> it's like, how greedy are you gonna be, man? It's like, you think we're not, we just fireballed you in the face, man. Like, come on. <laughs> He's like, I need more board in this situation, right? That's, that's what I need. All right. Big hype, big hype, yeah, I will. Gonna go for it. That means we're actually, I thought we couldn't improve our average. We're actually improving our average at this point, or we potentially will if we can win one of the next three games. So, surely, surely nothing bad will happen now that we've jinxed it, right? second fireball yeah having two fireballs is pretty nice <laughs> that is for sure hey, cool little tempo tempo while holding the coin so he's gonna he's gonna feel like he has to ping right and then we just get the amplifier going he doesn't know that he's playing oh shit now oh, we actually lose after oh, rip us We're dead.
Japan is just not very useful right now. <clears throat> just a bunch of uh, all of our worst, all of our low roll minions basically. Uh, this could give us something. It's gonna give us a fireball or polymorph, which just isn't gonna swing it for us. I wonder. You fight me, you get burned. This is what a real, this is what a real mage looks like. Obviously getting to 11-0, like we're not a real mage. This is a real mage, right? Lord will win. You're assuming he doesn't have two power creations in his hand. Which I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> Only a pit croc, okay. I guess he's also aggro mage, maybe? I mean, the thing is, like, I, I still think he's probably gonna fall back on a power creation or something. No, that's not one. That's not it. <clears throat> probably just have to, yeah, I guess we just have to go for the evocation. Too many bad things can happen if we don't, right? Got a rolling fireball and a... Got a whole bunch of things, actually. Is that? That's unfortunate. Yeah, maybe Devolve first was better. I mean, this was good if he didn't get a seven mana five drop, right? He had to get uh, it was a he had to get a seven health four drop for this to be bad. We can come back. Uh, I mean, we just we just used our comeback, right? And he's four cards ahead.
one is the play at that point when his potion and wand to even hope for the scam box. I mean, I feel like the play we did was fine. We just had to not get completely scammed by the RNG. But we did. I think we had like a 70% chance to win the game with the play we took. We just got completely fucked, you know? So it's like, what, what can you do? He might fatigue himself. Still have ravens. Yeah. We need like... I mean, the way we win is realistically going to be like, we have to draw both our ravens, like the next two or three cards. And they need to both give us Reno. Basically. It feels like that's our win condition. Because Reno's active. So if we can actually get a Reno off of Raven... Transfer student good. I have no idea what transfer student does on this map. Not quiet. I don't know that. Like, I don't know the maps and like what transfer student does. I have no idea. Holy fuck, he's trading. He wants to lose, apparently. No. Actually, I guess that's probably fine. Zach was insane. Yeah, like, that's that's what you that's what it takes to go twelve zero, right? Is you just have his deck. You'd have trouble not going twelve zero with that, basically. Mage again? Yeah, it's. It's improbable to fight a non-mage at 11, so probably another mage. Have we seen a non-mage priest at 11? Last run, we actually, the final boss was a warrior. And it was, it was an insane warrior. <laughs> it was a really good warrior. Because it was a control warrior. But, um... He didn't, I don't think, I didn't think he had Troublemaker either. It was just, he, he just had all the Discover cards from Warrior, so. What average do we have now? We still have the same average if we get stuck at 11. If we, uh, if we win the 12th game, we get to 1.8.1. 1. And then, since we have this, we can actually improve it. Like, I was thinking we probably wouldn't improve it, but since we actually matched... We're overriding a 12 and an 11, which is why I thought we couldn't improve it, but... We actually got a 12, and we're currently at 11, so... Now we can look at overriding the next few runs. Um... It's a seven nine six seven nine. They're pretty good runs, so it's still hard, but they could be overwritten. It's gonna be hard though. 
Why are you not a mage? What a surprise. We have a severe lack of cards that cost three mana. We have an amplifier, a firebrand, and an imprison observer, but we have not drawn any of them. Kind of a problem. What is this? Same thing again. We're gonna lose this game the exact same way, aren't we? It's all luck of the draw, yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's literally what's what it is, right? It's like he drew Firebrand, we didn't. GG, right? Like it's that's that's the game right now, you know, unfortunately. Nice to have, I guess. Have a say like I don't know. It's like is, is it, a it might be a, it might have been a miracle this deck got as close as it did, <laughs> as as well as it did. Like now it's just like we're having these like just ten of mad draws, right? Where it's like it's just nothing we can do basically. Because we just have to play Blizzard here. It's like we to win this game now it's like we're already in the spot where it's like we have to like actually draw our value and like we just haven't been good at drawing our value the last two games if we can't draw jandas can't draw our ravens there's just not much we can do Your feeble magic you know because our deck doesn't want to be in the spot we want to be pushing damage already you know but it's like there's absolutely no he's at 30 health right now right so it's like there's literally nothing we can do partially because he played two firebrands right what was the delay on that mirinity That 
That was like a four second delay, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like the game doesn't even want to give us like the correct in information. The game is like, oh, we're just gonna like reveal the secret four seconds later, just so you can't even make the right play. Not that we we didn't change it didn't change our play, but like, what the fuck? The game itself is trying to screw us right now. Cause that was like, did you see, like there was no reason for it to delay like that. That was just like straight up, like the game just decided, oh, we're just gonna tell you about the secret like four seconds after, after it. We drew a raven, which means there's some hope. His hands all removal. We might want to. Uh, we actually want the minion. struck anyway but all right <laughs> aoes bro you fight me you get burned there's three firebrands by the way He a hundred percent knew what what thing was too. Not even trying to hide it. What to do? What to do? A job in composition. Is 
sacrifice the sheep. I mean, it's like I kind of want to. Should be fine, right? I don't know. We could also. I think this is fine. We're with the 5 5. Yeah, I mean, I also want to like get the 5 face damage in, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, know he, I know that he knows. You just don't have healing. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's, he'd have to be on, like, Counterspell, right? Triple Firebrand. This triple Firebrand, bro. He draws three firebrands, we draw an Imprism Observer that doesn't matter. Yeah. Turns out that one card wasn't quite enough. <laughs> three of them. Uh. Yeah, Chadgar was a little bit too much. And don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube people.